Welcome back. Um, it's been, I don't know, a week or two since I last played on Shogi Club 24. I think I kind of sort of remember how the site works. You can use this update button to update the list of games that are played in a given room here. Uh, right now we're in the 11Q room. So uh, I think here in the room I can select, do I want to play a game? Um, sure, let's play a rated game for hoping for a shorter game. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, then once we've specified a game criterion, we can update the grid to show other people who are looking for similar game durations. And we'll get paired with somebody. Or we'll proactively seek somebody out. So there's a wait short, a wait 15, simply a weight, and other weight criteria. So should I seek... I know my rating's not super established at the moment. We've got two wins, one loss, no draws. All right, here we go. Sure. Yeah, let's play a game. Good luck. Sorry, I forgot this site is a little noisy. Let's quiet my sound a bit. Um, okay, we'll oppose the rooks. Interesting. Didn't expect things to go quite this way. Um, protect against lots of forks. Close this diagonal. Um, I think I'm supposed to play this here. I think they usually sack here anyway. Okay, that's a free pawn. That pawn is super free. That's weird. Uh, let's play it. Interesting. Okay, so we've taken a pawn and we've taken a pawn. Um, let's close this file. Okay, they aggressively proceed. So we'll just keep taking stuff. And now we'll proceed to take the silver if they give it to us. Otherwise, uh, we get to promote a lance. So... A lance promotion is certainly possible here. Do I have better? Maybe. Um, we can support our lance with another lance. Hmm. I guess we'll attack the Rook and the Knight together. Um, and then capture a Knight. And then we'll promote again. And this should get us somewhere on the correct path to getting other stuff promoted, etc. Um, We have to plug this file, because otherwise they use this file. Alright. They want to exchange stuff, and I think that's fine by me. Okay, let's open up the position while their king is still in the center. Take this. So now we have a bishop we can use. Um, don't need to use the bishop just yet. So if they move the rook away, we can take this pawn without consequence. Um, if they move the rook back one, we get to attack even stronger. 
So let's attack this silver and threaten to promote our rook. And this looks pretty strong to me. Um, it'd be even better if I could seal in their king, but that doesn't seem quite feasible right now. Um, here, let's attack their rook and pawn. And I guess... Well... This could go better. Let's promote while we still can. Um, guess we'll try to checkmate them with our pawn. Okay, the attempt to defend. Let's take this. And then if they use their gold to resist, we can continue attacking somehow. Uh, oh, I've hung my knight. Oops. But on the bright side, I have a really strong attack, so let's enjoy it. Um, this is a nice check to keep the king sealed in the center of the board. Let's promote our bishop. And this should be checkmate. Thanks for the game. Cool. Not bad. We survived. Uh, stuff happened this game. Okay, the opponent has left the game. So, yeah, we can review the game record, see that they played pretty aggressively. Some of my opening moves were probably lackluster. Closing the diagonal is probably okay, but um, here maybe I should have just pushed the rook pawn immediately. No, because that makes it easier for them to attack. So what I did seems fine. I don't like this pawn move. Um, so there's probably something better, but it seemed to work. This is a simple... Or this is easily just a pawn sacrifice. Bishop takes is probably the easiest refutation, but uh, pawn takes looked a-okay to me. Um, so we exchange pawns. I don't want their lance from that square, but I'm okay with taking a lance and a pawn. And another pawn, that I'm okay with, but actually I'm getting a lance and a pawn and a silver. Except they didn't give me the silver, so then I just can promote... Uh, they block me from dropping a lance here. That's the real intent of this move, is to stop what would have otherwise been a really strong counter blow, but I had this um, attack instead. I was unsure whether to hit the rook uh, from the front or from here. Um, I'm not sure it matters. Either way, I'm doing fine, so I think it's okay. Hopefully it is. We'll see. Yeah, let's uh, go back to the lounge and seek another game. Another shorter game. Sounds fun. Uh, apparently there are 19 players either currently... Well, no, I guess these are just folks waiting for a short game. So we'll see who we get next. Uh, we've ranked up to 10Q. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we originally entered at 500 rating, which I think is 11Q, so we've ranked up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Sure, yeah, that sounds fun. Good luck. Oh, I go first. Alright, let's play third file. Let's close this diagonal. Um, interesting. Maybe this here discouraging uh, them from doubly pushing this rook pawn. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think what I want to do is opposing rook, even though it's not ideal in this particular situation. Um, okay. This is interesting. Oh, 
Oh, right. Let's get my king somewhere to run to if necessary. Uh, even though I've messed up the option to build full Mino castle, half Mino isn't that bad. Uh, we might need to push pawn 9-5 at some point, so let's get that out. Um, yeah, no, I've extensively messed this up, haven't I? Um, I could still play Kimura Mino, so we could bring the silver up and gold up to try to hold this awkward position. Oh! Yep, yeah, I guess I'm prone to that. Because I wasn't thinking forward enough. But it's not all the loss. Um, it's interesting. That's really risky. Let's get my bishop a safe distance away from this. So, yes, this allows them to attack toward my rook. Um, I can attack their knight. So this is going to be a mess. Um, hmm, so, yeah, they will get to exchange their bishop for my rook. I think I'm okay with that. So, I'm also getting their knight, but my position is extremely loose here. So, I do have a bishop 5-5 five five drop threat. Um... Which is even more powerful because they don't have anything blocking this and they don't have a silver to drop to trap said bishop. They'd still be able to trap it, it's just not super convenient for them to do so. Alright, they stop bishop 5-5. Five five. Um, let's play the bishop on the board anyway, stopping rook 6-2. Also threatening this here. And as long as I don't seriously dummy this up, should be okay. Um, let's take the knight. This gives my bishop somewhere to escape to. Um, hmm. Not sure how best to play this. I think let's block the rook directly. Expect gold takes. And then we can promote the bishop, and uh, with the promoted bishop make some more fun threats. But also we could just drop a pawn back here to hold things together. Um, yeah, let's defend it this way. Which looks crazy absolutely mad, but um, seems to hold. Curious. Are they planning something? Okay, we'll just dodge that. So we don't lose... Oh, that is a fork. Um, that's kind of an ugly fork. Hmm. Yeah, wait. This is tricky. I think I've... well, no, I dropped the knight here. That's my mistake. I lost a knight if they're taking it. If they're not taking it, I haven't lost it yet. Um, so let's protect this knight with the other knight, incidentally trapping their rook. So that was a good defensive move, but it runs into my other defensive move here. Um, so my bishop was going to protect against this pawn advancing. Alright, thanks for the game.
that was yeah thank you for the game uh so best of luck to the next opponents let's play another game <laughs> ah why would i get banned so yes um apparently between i don't know i've i played a cowardly move in one of my recent games um i moved like a hundred something while i was in bioyomi for the greater part of an hour um and like i had a much stronger attacking move so between that and between some lackluster analysis and comments I'd made trying to um, help, it seems like I need to improve at my Suma Shogi. I've worked on it. Apparently I need to get better, though. So I said, you know, I'll play more Shogi Club 24. Uh, I guess I'll... Uh, all right, good luck to them. Uh, yeah, good luck. And I'll cut out playing Shogi Wars, because it seems not to be helping me at all. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a, I guess it's a matter of opinion, whether you can do worse or better. Alright, well this is cool. Look at that attack. They're playing stuff. Uh, let's get this silver moving. Um, let's try to defend things a little bit, I guess. I should probably also attack toward the king. So let's play that up one before they manage to solidify their shape. Okay, um, let's play this to get the king an escape hatch. Alright, buddy. Alright, buster. I don't know how to attack this, but I'm going to pretend that I do. Um, so let me first just complete my castle. It's too late for me to play a tomahawk or something like that, so uh, let's play this up. And yeah, we'll have to find some way to attack. Um, hmm. Play the silver up, even though that's kind of extremely unconventional here. And there we go, we've slowed down whatever the hell it is what they were doing. Um, interesting. Let's get my rook a little bit further up the board. Um, that way you can support an attack on the edge. Back we go. If this gold moves away, then I could play my bishop to hit this pawn. Um, but regardless of how that goes, I could play my knight out to try to protect my rook. Alright, so I tried to discourage this pawn advance. Truly I did. Um, they played it anyway. I guess I'll take this, and I'll take this, and I've got an obvious weakness on this file that I have to deal with, so I'll play this, understanding they could still attack the my bishop's head. And this gets uncomfortable quite quickly, but yeah, we'll play this and try to shore our castle back up. Um, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you let your opponent survive. Why'd you do that? That's too kind. You're supposed to win. You're supposed to crush them. Alright, so... Oh boy. Uh, I guess I'll play this back here. I wanted to play this further up the board but it looks too dangerous. Um, I 
Okay, that's a bit silly. I mean, they have time for silly moves given what I've been playing. Um, so let's bring our knight out. Knight and the bishop can team up and hit this pawn here. My opponent still elects to keep their gold in the center. Um, Alright, this does attack this head of the bishop. That's uncomfortable. Um, oh wait, that's a trap. Well, damn. Whatever. We're going to pretend it's no big deal. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Um... Hmm. I can say I'm not such a fan of the way this is going, but I might sack the bishop on the king's head here, which might be extremely effective. Um. Mm -hmm. They have two pawns in hand. I don't like this. All right, let's let's do it before we regret everything. Okay, let's hit the lance. Let's take the lance. Continue putting pressure over here. Um. I guess we'll support this, even though that's pretty dumb, because it prevents me from playing the pawn further up the file. But, anyway, we started an attack. The knight can join this attack pretty soon. Um, so is this initially how I plan for things to go? Not really. Um... Is it maybe acceptable? Maybe. Um, play the lance down as far as we can. Although this is an obvious target for a bishop drop. Wow, I am making this job easy for them, aren't I? So let's just go ahead and attack. Pretend we did that on purpose, like our other moves. Yep, gotta sack our lance, so let's sack it, then hit the silver. So, I bungled this many different ways, but we have an attack. It doesn't feel like this attack is going to last very long. Maybe I should have taken this pawn instead of hitting the silver. Um, curious. Alright, they attack my knight. Let's get our rook out of this before something bad happens. Um, we have four pawns now. Yep. Let's, I guess, go ahead and take a fifth pawn at the bishop's head. Um... Hmm. Hmm, this is tricky. I think I have to take this. And then I should have some sort of an attack on this edge. Let's promote here. And then attack the knight. So we've sacked everything against Anaguma, which seems like the last thing you'd want to do. 
Um, okay, we'll promote here. I think we'll surround the king a bit. We're threatening a pawn drop on the king's head. We might be threatening other things, I'm not fully sure. Um, I guess let's carry out this threat. a pretty sucky threat, but we carried it out. Um, let's take this. And this frees us to promote another pawn right next to the king. King takes, we have mate in one. So they're not going to take that. Um, yeah, this is extremely terrible, but, you know, we got to play the hand we are dealt. And if that hand is, I have no pieces, then I have to attack with no pieces. Um. So I can pursue this knight a bit, I guess. Unless they do that. Um. Oh no. Wow. Well, hopefully uh, things will work out whatever way works best. Um, so either, hopefully either you'll still promote or maybe promotion wasn't meant to happen this time. I don't know. Um, Alright, that's a fork. Let's see. We're going to support my token with a pawn because I don't have a lot of options here. We're just going to take this free pawn. This is such a desperate attack, but it might work. Um, so this way I get to use my gold. Now I'm only getting to attack from one side, so this attack really sucks a lot. But... Um, I did get to promote another token one square closer to the king. <sighs> this is going to be the world's slowest attack. But it is an attack, so... Let's try to enjoy it. Okay. Um, we'll hit their gold. Let's go ahead and take that. 
Okay. Um, I guess we have to prevent the king from escaping. Wow. All right. If the king escapes, uh, there's zero hope here, so... Yep, king is not allowed to escape. Um... Okay, let's attack this horse and this uh, lance. Maybe a lance is the piece we need today. They have a lance. Okay, so I don't have much choice but to take this, so we'll capture it. Um, guess we'll attack this way. Only way that we can, but you know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. So the lance supports this silver, the silver supports this pawn, the horse runs away, um, which makes sense. Okay, let's... Let's see if I can get any kind of an attack moving. So this is a promoted knight here. Um, yeah, let's take the promoted knight. Now we have a knight in hand. Okay. That makes sense. Hmm. I'll take this too. So now we have a silver and a knight. Um. I guess that silver is best used here. Um, and that knight can attack the bishop and the pawn. So the idea is I think I've finally gained a tempo for my attack. They're playing a lot of defensive moves. I'm playing a lot of aggressive moves. Somehow things will have to work out in the end. Um, Let's go ahead and take this bishop.
Mm. Guess we'll attack toward the weak point here. Let's fork some pieces. So this hits their horse and their king. This is a mess. All right, we'll take a horse and promote. Sure, let's offer some more ideas here. So we're going to attack this dragon, defend our um, horse over here, and hopefully things will make sense somehow. Um, they might exchange a dragon for... Nope, they don't. Uh, and the reason they might do that is because I'm threatening to take here. Um... Hmm. Okay, let's play a bottom pawn here. Is it fine? <laughs> I don't know. This game is complicated. Um, okay, I have to capture here. I have to have this gold general protecting my king. Now they could maybe play the rook to the bottom rank. And I have some threats. Um, yeah, this doesn't actually do very much, this dragon move. It might look scary, but uh, it's slow. Um, let's play our bishop up here. So we could pursue the king from both directions. This rook is blocked by two silver generals. Uh, so, yep, we surround the king on the right and on the left. Um, sets the stage for me to make a checkmate threat. Um... All right, that's check. So their dragon takes, and I probably... I mean, I have an extremely good initiative here, even if it's not checkmate. Um, let's see, but no, this mates directly. Both horses and the rook in cooperation uh, orchestrate a checkmate. So that's check. And that's checkmate. Thanks for the game. That was intense. Wow. All right. We did it. So what's the moral of the story? I mean, one moral is play slower games. Um, another moral is don't give up. Um, 
let's see. I once I saw that like my opening attack was not going to prevail very easily against this. Um, I started just building a castle calmly. Uh, this move is probably fine. From here on out, I'm not totally sure what to do. I still need to activate my bishop. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do this. It would be one thing if I already had everything lined up at the head of this, uh, but I didn't have it all lined up. This might have been too risky. Again, I should activate my bishop, but I clearly they're wanting to exchange bishops and other pieces, so I wasn't sure what to do. Um, this rook drop back here might have not been right. Maybe I should go back further because they played on Aguma. I took this pawn because I have to because I played this earlier. And yeah, playing this forward in some cases might make sense, but in this position, probably not the more I think about it. I should just wait for them to attack me. And meanwhile, I can build an attack on the edge. But, um, so yeah, they have this. Maybe it would have made sense for me to drop a pawn further up the board than I dropped it. I was afraid they'd push the center pawn twice and then I'd lose this and lose everything else too. But I have some extra pawns. I could always run the silver back, drop another pawn. I just couldn't find an attack. But eventually we found one. So, yes. <laughs> yes, he had many opportunities to attack. Um... And he played some good attacking moves, but apparently not enough. So, it's, yeah. That case where I forked his king and horse with my bishop, perhaps it would have been best if he'd just taken my bishop. Maybe. But, yeah, by then we'd finally found a decent attack. So, hey, look. We're 9q, somehow. Uh, we'll see how long we stay there. So, yeah, maybe I should be looking in a different room than I am looking in. Because um, we're over 550 rating. So let's take a look who's looking for games out here. There's a lot of strong players. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a flaw of when you cross one of these uh, 10q, 5q, one of these sorts of boundaries. You're going to be like the smallest fish in the larger pond. And so people are not going to want to take your request, especially if you got a question mark next to your rating. Hmm. That's a bit of an issue. Oh, interesting. They could resume a game. Didn't know. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This will be one heck of a game. Good luck. Let's open this diagonal and pretend it's fine. See if they do tempo lost bishop exchange on us. Nope. All right. Um. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I guess we'll play this up. This is not normally what I do. Um, let's play the rook to the central file. I'm feeling a bit frisky here. Get our king out of the way. Let's play that up. So, this is an unusual shape. But hey, we got a vanguard pawn. That's exciting. Take this edge so our bishop has somewhere to go. Um, let's get the king the hell out of there. And yeah, I'm not sure what next to do. I guess build half Mino and then Kimura Mino. It's probably sensible enough. So this gives uh, my pieces somewhere to go. Um, 
at some point dropping the rook back a square could be safer than where it is right now. Oh, that's weird. Um, okay, let's play the silver up. That's aggressive. I maybe should have anticipated this. Maybe? Um, so I don't win material by taking this land. So, oh. Oh, this thing. The thing. Well, fuck. Um, yeah. So they block their bishop, so maybe this is accurate now? Whereas a turn ago, it might not have been such a good idea. I don't know. Maybe, well, so they had to play the knight out to get the rook over. But the way this played out, um, I was able to save a piece. Which is probably quite important because my king is on this edge. So they threatened to trap my lance. Um, guess let's promote the lance to escape danger. Um, now, yeah, they can do this to attack my king. But I thought I was okay against this. Um, can I not just take stuff? Don't understand. Let's take the thing and face the punishment. And then we'll understand what this punishment is. Interesting. Um... That's cool. It's the only way to support this would be with another piece. I'm hellbent on preventing their rook from entering this file, so hence we play this weird pawn drop um, rather than trying to exchange stuff. Um, yeah, they surround my knight as they should. And I don't know how to respond to any of this other than running for the hills. Um, let's protect this, which is dumb, but I don't know what else to do with the tempo. Um, Okay, we'll try to protect the head of my castle. It's probably not going to go well. Okay. So we got a lance and a pawn to defend. And they have a lance and a knight in hand. It's scary. We want to drop our lance as far back as possible to defend our king. Okay, that's stunning. Oh, that's actually super clever. Wow. Okay, um... Maybe let's not hang all of my pieces at once. So this seems like the way to not hang my pieces. Fuck. <laughs> There's always a catch. Um. Hmm. 
So I should, it would have been better for me to drop my rook back than to walk directly into a fork. Well, at least I recognize what most of the pieces are. Um, so... I mean, I guess this is the second best place for a lance. My position's crapping out, so we'll see what we can make of it. Mm -hmm. You take a piece, I take a piece. You take a piece, I take a piece. Let's just keep going. Seems safe. Maybe. <laughs> um... Hmm. Let's open our bishop. Yeah, my king is super dead. Um. They don't have a bishop right now. I mean, this seems like the best possible square for my bishop. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make something of this really weird position before I get mated. Um, let's try to escape my king. Hmm. Okay, that's a fork. It's definitely a fork. Guess we gotta protect our forked pieces. Uh, we'll continue running a bit. I'm pretty sure I, I'm losing heavy material here soon. I'm just not sure exactly what heavy material I've lost. Um, interesting. Back we go. You know, this opens an obvi- oh god, really? Uh, okay. I see. Well, if that ain't a mess, uh, I don't know what it is. Fine, pin my dragon. Yep, that's a pin. That's okay. Let's 
going to protect that, I guess. I need some way to have some inroad to this castle. So, this will be a road. We'll call it the Long Road. Um, okay. Sure. Why not? Let's ever forward. Um, ever forward, Excelsior. Here we go. Now this gold is the next target. Unfortunately, I'll have to attack it with the gold of my own. Sadly, I don't have uh, perfect pieces for this attack. Ah, that's quite clever. That stings a lot. Um... Hmm. Nice find, sir. Ah, right. I can't drop two pawns in the same file. So I have to defend in a more desperate way. Um... Well, that sucks. We're going to try to not get checkmated here. Oh, I could have run away. But no, I get mated very quickly if I run away, so I had to block. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Sure, we'll defend this way, I guess. This defense is extremely unsuccessful, but we can try it. And once that fails, our king can run. Yep. All right. Take one of those. Um, this is not my greatest defense of all time, but, you know, it's what we got. We'll play it. So we've managed to neutralize the slants at the cost of our entire army. Um, hmm. Interesting. I think this is as good a try as any here. Um, so let's take the slants, see what they have in mind. Right, that is an attacking move. Um, hmm. 
So they have another rook that they can use to attack me. But they haven't used it yet, so... I should probably capture this, because they have a bishop. Yeah. Let's go ahead and capture that. Try to make a run for it. Mm -hmm. There's the bishop, just as expected. Um, I think I need to repel the bishop, so this is my best chance to resist. Um, Okay, our king's got to make a run forward. Again, we got to continue running. Oh, is that checkmate? That's damn close. Um, it's really damn close to checkmate. Okay, um, guess we just continue running. Oh, thanks for the game. I lose, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I forgot the bishop attacks this way. So that is, is that checkmate? Uh, yes, I have been checkmated. My apologies. I did not play an illegal move on purpose. I genuinely thought that was a legal move, so... <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh... Goodness. Uh, yeah. But oh, we tried. Should we try one more? <sighs> That was tricky. So we're back down from 9Q to 10Q. And, um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe next game I'll sense when I'm actually checkmated. I was considering resigning, honestly. I just thought that that was a legal move. And being that it was a legal move, at least to my mind, it looked like a quite good one. So, um, yeah, I'm sure eventually my guys will get acclimated to these pieces. It's just a bit tricky. Uh, they played a very strong attack. And I guess in this case, my king should not have dove right into the fray as it did. So it was a strategic error to, like, there was one tempo I could have tried to run away with my king instead of pl placing a knight to protect the other knight. Uh, running would have been the smarter move there. These guys are good. This is the Tokyo Dojo and uh, Shogi Club 24. Um, I wonder if it indicates on my profile. That, okay. Yep. Good luck. Good luck. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit interesting. Something about the timer here is a little bit different than last time. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Oh, is this a, like, some kind of delay clock? Okay, so I have to protect my bishop's head. So this is one way to do this. Um, oh wow, but that, like, prevents me from playing my vanguard pawn. Interesting. Now, their king's still in the center, so I should just push this edge pawn. 
and very easily break through. My move hits faster. Um, so, this could be interesting. I don't know what happens next, though. Um, somehow this looked to me like a strong attacking idea. Although their rook immediately breaks into my position. So what am I doing? This is extremely questionable on my part. Uh, I think they found an even stronger uh, response. So my bishop is trapped. Huh. I don't know what to play here. I'm also not sure what the 60 is for. So perhaps eventually when I see like how the 60 is used, things might make more sense. Um... We need to attack uh, the weak point of this castle, just right over there. And we can double up on it. Um, I'm pretty sure we can. So, is there some flaw with this idea? In principle, this looks like the right kind of an attack here. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I should have done knight takes instead, but I've been saving this knight takes because I might not want to promote the knight. So this allows me to attack the silver and the lance. Um, subsequently, I can take this lance here. And now I have a lance and a gold. I can attack um, So I want to try to hit somewhere near this king. Hmm. I thought this was an okay attacking idea. Oh, fudge. I just dropped the gold. Oh, they could just take my gold. It's not how it played out here, but that was a free gold general if they just taken it. Um... Hmm. I think I need to take here. 
And then place another silver here. I think I have something of an attack. Um, nah, this is just losing. Thanks for the game. Yeah. Uh, well played. These guys are good, man. These guys are too good. It's like this is their country's game. And I have so much to learn about it. So, I guess one thing I've learned is we're on 81 Dojo. I can say central file rook or bust on here. Um, I can't just commit to one strategy um, and expect to like win every game. So, it's a bit challenging on this site. Let's refresh. All right, good luck. We're still going to play third foul rook. We can't give up on third foul rook. Not now. Um, I'll block their rook from promoting. Close this diagonal. Interesting. Play this anyway. So, my meta of playing Central Foul Rook against pretty much everything in 81 Dojo is perhaps extremely unwise to follow on here, where they actually know what they're doing. Um, okay. Let's seal this knight in. Uh, try to open the third file for my rook. There's probably some flaw with my reasoning here. But we don't have all day to think about it, so... Um, we'll play some moves and see how it goes. Um... Okay, now we can attack this pawn here. They defend it. I think I need to stop bishop 5-5 five five and get allow my bishop access to 5-5. Five five. So I think my move makes sense. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, that's another point though. So this is more than a bit risky, we'll say. Um, thanks for the game. I confess I don't completely understand exactly what happened here. Um, I also don't know how long this move I had here. Oh, left by PC trouble. I see. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if... Hmm... I wasn't trying to trap the silver, I was trying to advance my bishop. But uh, here I was able to uh, win a silver general. Um, that said, I don't think this is like entirely clear. So, yeah, even the game was decided by PC Trouble, like, they could consider... Uh, I don't know if there's a way to analyze in this interface. But if they take the pawn, and then they take this pawn, their bishop's hitting this lance. But also if they just take this pawn first... No, they can't win my knight. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. It's unfortunate that the game was decided the way it was. Um, but uh, thanks to every opponent that we've had for today, it's very kind of them uh, to be willing to demonstrate to me how to play this game. And hopefully, um, in the future, I'll be looking to figure out how to download games from this interface. And then, once downloaded, I can try to study them uh, with Shogi GUI. Or play Shogi. I'm not sure. Because there's a lot of ideas. Um, we have so, so much to learn. So, what better place to learn it than Tokyo? Alright. Thanks for watching.